morning, ESM. Today is a day three. Now, today, I would like to bring up a very important topic that, to me, I feel should be shared. It's a major question that I think that should be answered. When is the appropriate time to listen to Christmas music and get ready for the holidays? We'll try to figure it out together after news and announcements. Amazon Black Friday deals will begin as early as November 20th, a whole week in advance. There's plenty of technology on sale this year, such as the new Echo Dot, for just $29. These deals are beating competitors such as Walmart and Best Buy, whose deals don't start until a few days prior to Black Friday. The Chocolate Pizza Company has experienced tremendous growth in sales during the pandemic. The company is now able to sell in one day the same as it has previously sold in an entire month. Owner Ryan Norwalk says they have grown their facility and are shipping out hundreds of packages a day. Recently, the company expanded their facility, giving workers more room to store boxes and get ready for orders. The company has also added eight new employers, bringing their staff to 20 workers. As a result, Onondaga County will now provide free asymptomatic testing at the On Center beginning today, Tuesday, November 17th, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. You must register and at least a day in advance in order to be tested. Here's the link, covid 19 .net slash appointments. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's changed. The weight room will now open at 325 Monday through Friday until sports study hall resumes. See Coach Eschba Eschbacher with questions. Due to the circumstances beyond their control, the opening of the Spartan branch has been postponed. They apologize for the inconvenience and will notify everyone when the opening date has been set. Thank you for understanding and having patience. National Honor Society is hosting a blood drive next Friday, the 20th, from 10 a.m. to 4 a.m., 4 p.m., sorry, into the Hall of Fame. The need for blood is at an all-time high, so donations are critical. To register, please visit redcross.org and use sponsor code ESMHS to find the drive and reserve your spot. Donors will receive a free shirt. If you are cohort A or virtual and would like to donate, please email Mr. Mussolino at jmussolino at esmschools.org. Now, there is more than one way to answer the question of when is an appropriate time to listen to Christmas music and celebrate the holidays. It is either on November 1st, take a break for Thanksgiving and continue, or just do it after Thanksgiving. Now, if you don't celebrate Christmas or any of these holidays, that's okay. You can answer that question for when is the right time to celebrate your holiday or just not celebrate at all. Personally, I have already started listening to Christmas music and I put up a small little tree in my room. Many people like me believe that it is okay to celebrate this holiday and take a small break for Thanksgiving and go right back into Christmas. On a TikTok that I recently saw, there is this guy in his car and he was basically saying, oh, it is okay to celebrate Christmas music now because there's so many catchy tunes and we don't get enough time to listen to them all or like watch all the movies. And not only that, we're still, like if you believe in God and Jesus, we're celebrating the life of Jesus and it's okay to celebrate his birthday a whole month early. And although I strongly believe that Christmas is okay to be celebrated before Thanksgiving, I wasn't always this way. I used to be so against it and I would yell at my parents for even putting one Christmas song on like on November 1st. I will talk more about that after the weather. Today will be blustery and chilly with some lake effect snow showers. Expect a slushy coating to, of an inch or two of snow for most areas with more up in the hills. The high is in the upper 30s, but the wind chill is going to bring that down to around 22 to 28 degrees today. And then tonight we could see an additional coating of up to two inches. Tomorrow we'll have a few lingering morning flurries, but then the clouds should give way to some sun late in the afternoon with highs in the low to mid 30s. Wind chills will bring, bring that down to about 20 to 30. And then Thursday is going to be breezy with some sun that will raise those temperatures into the low 50s. 
Friday is going to continue to warm up with more unusual temperatures for this time of year with a high near 60. And expect to see a few showers this weekend with temps in the high 40s on Saturday and mid to upper 50s on Sunday. And then Monday is going to continue that trend into the start of next week with a chance of showers and highs in the mid 50s. I'm Allie with your weather. Alright, so all those weird people who think that we should wait after Thanksgiving to celebrate Christmas and any holiday after it, I agree that Thanksgiving is underrated and we should be more aware and thankful for the holidays and share with our families and friends. And yes, I know that pun wasn't funny, but I appreciate those who pretended to laugh. Anyways, not only is Thanksgiving a day to eat some delicious turkey, but it is a day meant for peace, unity, and spending the day with loved ones. It is also wrestling with your cousins and tackle football, which I'm surprisingly good at considering I don't play a sport. And speaking of sports, let's move on to that with Aiden. Last night in the NFL, the Minnesota Vikings beat the Chicago Bears 19-13. The Bears have lost four consecutive games after starting the season with a record of 5-1. The NCAA announced that it would grant an extra year of eligibility to winter sports athletes who play in the season. It is intended for helping players in the 2020 winter sports season is shortened or ended early. The NCAA sport er, choice would result in a stable roster for the Syracuse Orange basketball team. On Sunday, the NBA announced that trades were allowed to be finalized as the Milwaukee Bucks have a tr made a trade for New Orleans Pelicans guard Drew Holiday. The Bucks sent Drew Bledsoe and George Hill and draft picks. Another blockbuster trade announced was the Oklahoma City Thunders sent Chris Paul and Abel Nader to the Phoenix Suns for Kelly Ober, Ricky Rubio, Ty Jerome, Jalen Leck, and for a 2022 first round pick. So on our Twitter account, there's a poll posted about the appropriate time to celebrate the holidays. Even if you don't celebrate some of these holidays or don't believe in God, that's okay. It's also okay if you don't even want to celebrate any holidays. The general point of all of this is to do whatever you want to do. It is your life and you can celebrate or not celebrate even if others don't agree with you. So anyways, for myself and everybody on the morning show, have a great Tuesday and Merry Christmas!